wear it when I go on blind date sweating and I swear two separate guys complimented on how beautiful my skin looked. And you guys know that doesn't happen every day. Hey guys, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, for today's video, I'm super excited because I have found this incredible, actually two incredible cushions that I think are going to blow off your socks off. Blow off your pants off, blow off your socks off. Either ways, I actually did one of these back ago, like a year ago with Jeongsen Mul Cushion. That was like, that is, that was. That was like my holy grail K-beauty cushion for the longest time. I think like for six, seven years. And it was definitely one of my go-tos. But last year, I found even a better cushion. So without further ado, let's get this video started. And you guys know the drill. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, let's get started. So I have two cushions ready for you guys. One is if you want more of that glowing, glass skin look. And the other one is if you want more of a matte formulation. And the first one I present to you guys, are you ready? It is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow Cushion Compact. I know guys, this isn't even K-Beauty, but this cushion is so fracking good. Now I know that Shiseido isn't technically K-Beauty, it's actually a Japanese brand as we all know, but this was made in Korea, that's right. Cosmex! Woo! Go Cosmex! It was made in Cosmex, so technically, technically, it's Korean, <laughs> so... Korea makes the best cushions, like you go to all of the high-end brands like YSL, Dior, etc. All the cushions are made in Korea. It's that good, but so I'm just gonna call this K-Beauty, you know. Tomato, tomato. So one of the issues that I always had with the Chungsung Mo cushion, despite how beautiful it was, is that the formulation kind of seemed too thick. So I actually recommended it to Yoon Yeon Yi, but she, she couldn't get on board because she was like, oh, so it's a little too thick for me, which I completely understood. But this is thin. The formulation is thin. So it just imagine all of the good things, all of the benefits that the Chungsung Mo cushion has without the setbacks. Imagine it, put it into a red cushion. There you have it. I've been wearing this every single day, like I said, for the past half of 2023, and I wear it every day. I wear it when I go on blind date sweating, and I swear two separate guys complimented on how beautiful my skin looked. And you guys know that doesn't happen every day, especially with the mother of the breakouts that I have. You guys know it just doesn't happen often. So this is a cushion that I just Oof, I was like, I have to do a video on this. Like I said, with the formulation, it's a glowy one, but it's not too dewy, where it's like kind of overwhelming. And the formulation is way thinner. So obviously, I actually, re yesterday, I just bought a refill of this. So when you initially use it, of course, don't go cray cray. It's just, that's just how it is with all cushions. But still, if you do a really good job of just doing one dab and spread it out, it just goes on so flawlessly and it adheres so, so, so well. And it just gives you that nice glint. So honestly, sometimes it doesn't even look like you have cushion on or like base makeup up in the best way. So the Chongsam one, I think I've always mentioned that, oh, you can definitely tell that you have makeup on, but this one's like, you can get away with being like, oh, I just put on really good skincare, but the glow is that subtle. Like it just looks like you have really healthy skin and it, the glow just seems to kind of glisten on top. And the formulation is so thin that, of course, with other cushions, like for example, I recently tried out the new Jabin the Seoul cushion and I was like, oh, I don't think I can get away with more than two layers, but with this one, dab all you want. Of course, except for the initial phase, when you get a lot of product on the pot, that's when you don't want to go cray cray, but still, I have never had this cushion go messy on me. I never experienced any peeling with this cushion, and I'm talking about like my good, good skin days as well as bad skin days. It is fabulously amazing. Also, it's so refined and it doesn't emphasize any of my pores. It just really sticks on and I just love love this cushion with a passion and the refill was actually kind of expensive I'm not gonna lie it was a uh, 40,000 won but I think it's worth every penny of it because it gets even better from here the longevity let's talk about the longevity this is one of the cushions like the Chongzhen Mo one it looks so beautiful as time goes by as it mixes in with your sweat and sebum but it does something more like it's 
it's almost as if it kind of brightens up as time goes by. It's the opposite of that darkening, oxidizing effect. So on some days, I'm just like, I can't wait for time to go by because it looks so much better with the sweat and oils. I don't know, there's some kind of like advanced technology involved in this because it just, oh, it's the cushion I have on right now. It does not, the, my skin looks flawless. I'm just gonna say, it just looks beautiful. Now for the coverage, I'm not gonna lie, it's not, doesn't have like the perfect coverage, but considering how thin it is, it actually has not bad of a coverage, but I do still have to pinpoint conceal, uh, especially on my big blemishes. That's, I guess, the only minor setback, but I just love how my skin looks afterwards, that I'm not mad. So you're just left with this nice glistening, really healthy looking skin. So if you like the JSM cushion or the Fui Glass cushion, you're going to absolutely love this. I think the only, like, the disadvantage that the Fui cushion has over this is that it works beautifully, but I feel like sometimes a free glass cushion, it doesn't adhere as tightly as this one. This literally feels like your second skin, like my skin, but better. If you guys have tried this, let me know and let us know, let others know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it or not, because I feel like nobody really talked, I haven't seen anyone talk about this cushion. Even though this is pricey, and you guys know how I feel about like high end. You guys know I'm such a snob. I'm like, oh, KB just way superior, but this is worth every penny. And if you guys know any like dupes for this, aside from the Pui glass cushion and the Chongsen Mo cushion, let me know. Let me know. Please let me know. And I'll of course try to find a dupe for it, but there we go. All right, this second cushion is if you guys like the more of a matte finish or you have oily skin or you live summer hot and humid and you can't just, you, you can't deal with glowy skin. I present to you guys the Too Cool For School Fixing New Cushion. Now, this is a matte cushion and that's saying a lot because I haven't recommended a matte cushion in the longest time. I think the last a matte cushion that I recommended to you guys was the Hera Black Cushion and it was okay, it's good, but it wasn't to a point where I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make a separate video on this, no. It was like, yeah, it works, you know, it, it's actually really good, but it just didn't, you know, it didn't sweep me off my feet, if you guys know what I mean. Now this Too Cool For School really did take me by surprise. I actually took this to my recent trip to Phuket because I couldn't find the black hair cushion. So I usually when I go somewhere hot and humid, like the Southeast Asia, hair, the black cushion is what I take, the upgraded one, but I couldn't find it. So I was just like, oh, I'll take this. I've heard like good things about it. So I'll try it out and wow, it's really good. So one of the, I guess, issues that I have with matte cushions is that they always seem to like emphasize my bodice. You know, and, I, and I'm not a fan of that. And even though it might not emphasize my bodice initially, what happens with like my cushions, for example, the sweet, uh, sweet cushion, I have to wait until my sweat and sebum starts mixing with the dry formulation till my skin looks good. Prior to that, it just looks really dry and it just emphasizes all of my texture problems, all of my pores. So it's not too cute. This one was different. So even though it's matte, it wasn't drying. I know that sounds crazy and so paradoxical, but it's, you know, Bible. And especially the drying factor really becomes noticeable with other cushions as time goes by because I do have intensely dry cheek areas. This one, I didn't notice it too much. Yes, I did feel it to be matte, but it wasn't like, it didn't feel like it was sucking all the hydration out of my skin. And also, it didn't get messy even though I would reapply it on top. And the formulation is really thin as well. So it just feels like you're putting on this really thin layer of just concentrated powder in a liquid format and just it just gl like gl it just slicks on really and also it has a pretty high coverage that i didn't always need feel like the necessity to cover up or pinpoint conceal the longevity is really really neat and clean and it just kind of actually it doesn't even disappear it actually stays a, it does a really good job in staying put i remember i just didn't feel the need to reapply it or retouch it so this is really really good the formulation is almost like so which basically means that on the outside it feels really matte but in the inside it feels almost hydrating which i love does emphasize my pores and even before my sweat and sebum gets mixed in just makes my skin look really really sleek 
it just makes it look very, very fresh, very velvety, very, very powdery. It doesn't seem to emphasize all of my minor setbacks, not setbacks, but like, you know, texture, probably the new little bumps, etc. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. I absolutely love these two cushions. Make sure to check it out. I think they're worth every single penny, time, you name it. If you guys also have any great recs that you've discovered, please let me know. I love, guys, I'm always buying new cushions. <laughs> Because I love using cushions. I use them way more than foundations. They're more, way more convenient. It just makes sense, you know? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!